and we're back with another episode of Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Uh, it's a nice evening, a snowy evening here in the land of Celadon City, comma, Kanto. And so, ooh, this guy that's important. No, he is not important. You look important. Oh, it's you, seen. Hello. I'm back visiting my hometown. It's been quite a while. Okay, cool story, bro. So, today we're going to take on the gym of Celadon City. I know, right? It seems like only two episodes ago when we were facing the last gym, and that's because it was. But sadly, you need cut to get in, so we're going to withdraw our good friend Emo. It's been a while. A cut slave, and uh, after a very small period of deliberation, uh, I've decided to leave behind Eggbutt because electric attacks do not work well against grass types, as you should know. And if you don't, then you may not be in as into a Pokemon as most people that watch this particular program. I guess we could call it that. Uh, so, anyway, yes, uh, I'm going to leave Piney up in front, but I imagine Piney will deteriorate in usefulness as we proceed along the gym. So let's go! Past the food buffet place, which I'm sure is still doing things. And we're going to cut down this really annoyingly placed tree. Again, the council of the Pokemon world has some serious problems with, like, maintenance. And the fact that there's always these random trees and boulders in the, pl in the way. <laughs> this gym is great. Okay. Some... Where's a police officer? I need, I need to find some guy. There's a guy here. He's not... He's not good. He's not a good guy. Uh, this doesn't look as populated as I thought it might be. So let's fight these twins. They go to protect Erica. Oh no, you don't. Uh, now this is going to be the gauge of what we're up against. Oh, it's a double battle. I don't think I've had a double battle in ages, actually. Oh, here we go. Uh, probably two very bad things to deal with here. So let's use... Headbutt on Vile Plume, and you can use Body Slam on Vile Plume. I don't know why Vile Plume. I just hate its face. Look, it's so happy. It needs to die. I think we can all agree on that. But okay, uh, actually, they're higher level than my Piney, so. Uh oh! <laughs> That's no good. Oh, wow, I did not do a lot of damage just now. I might want to switch out. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get. Oh, of course, leftovers. Forgot about that. So I'm going to roll out off from Piney, and yeah, let's go for Victory Bell, not? and then I'm going to switch you out into... Who's good to deal with this? Now, these two are both have ice attacks, but they are both weak to grass. i actually not got much to deal with grass types, and I got rid of Fire Punch last episode, so there goes that option. But I do a Psychic, which is also super effective against these two, so that's okay. So here you go, Psychic does have a use, and in fact, it will probably do a in fact, no, it will do more than Fire Punch would. And Stun Spore, brilliant! I'm going to expect a lot of that. And of course, leftover healings. Right, so let's go for... Here we go, for, let's go for Fire Plume. Hopefully we can take this thing down in one, although I've not got Stab, so... Oh no, it did it, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, I was just about to say, I hope that we get a few levels of Piney from this, and we do. But I do have some rare candies, just in case. I'm saving them up for later, and imagine the majority of them will go on Piney. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry if I sound a bit sniffly. I literally only just noticed I have a cold. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks ass. Wow, okay, that did more than necessary. This is psychic. As if I wasn't going to do that anyway. Yeah, yeah. We win this first battle. That actually took longer than I would have liked. But oh well. Zoe... No, Joe and Zoe. Joe spelt like that. Isn't that a male name? Okay. <laughs> well, it's their name. They have to live with it. Uh, I'm sure we have four heals somewhere. I think I I've gone too far this time. Um, where... There we go. And you're back to full health. So let us continue. Uh, it's not a double battle, is it? I don't think they work like that in this game. But I'm going to put uh, Bill up in second, just because it's the second lowest level. And we'll fight these bitches. And we've got four trainers total. One of them being the gym leader. 
Oh, a bell? It's kind of scary, but okay. So wait, you're employed by this gym to conduct battles of trainers. And yet you're allegedly frightened by the prospect of a battle. Uh, these people. Okay, so, let's use Curse. Egg Baum. B17 Baum. Oh, wow, that is not very effective, but I did quite a bit. But again, I have leftovers. And since I'm slower anyway, that's kind of why I gave Piney Curse, because lowering its speed is not going to do anything really. You don't have Quick Claw anymore. Oh, and Confusion. Right, I'm kind of concerned that this thing might have um, things such as Sleep Powder, but I suppose we'll find out. Uh, so far it doesn't. Uh, hopefully it has its level up moveset, which as a stone evolution Pokemon is absolute balls. So that sucks for him. Yeah, it seems like he only sees the Egg Bomb Confusion. Maybe other attacks, but I haven't seen him yet. Of course you missed! Of course! Oh god! And even though it's not doing much damage, it's still doing enough. Because I'm not hitting it! Come on! If you can't beat a wild trainer's... <laughs> a wild trainer appeared! A wild trainer's executor. Then you have no hope for this gi Oh dear. <laughs> Good thing we have leftovers, huh? Come on now. It seems all this thing is trying to do is confusion, which will confuse me eventually, I'm sure of it. Unless we defeat it first. Man, Executor must have a rough life. <laughs> so is Dodrio in the sense that they both have like three heads. And Dogtrio. I don't even know how that works. With Executor, I don't know. Like, where's its brain? Or does it have multiple brains? I think Dojo would have multiple brains. And Dogtrio, uh, that doesn't make sense, it's just free Diglett. <laughs> I don't understand. First generation Pokemon, that's what they are like for you. This might take this Executor down actually, hang on. Yeah, good job Piney, you did it eventually. But then again, you're never meant to be an attacker. Oh, that's it? <laughs> it sure is. Right, we're gonna go, oh, okay. I was just about to say we're gonna go straight to this other fight, but I guess we have no choice anyway! Yay! Welcome to Celadon Gym! You better not underestimate the nice ladies here. Oh, you act nice. But I know what you're like. <laughs> Abusing your husbands when we're not watching. Anyway, it's a Hopip. Uh, and Hopip is flying. So, I'm just going to go straight for a rollout. Because it, it's super effective. <laughs> Even though that is a Hopip, that didn't do much. And yeah! Cons points no sense, unless you're using it against something... Oh, oh no, it's speed, isn't it? What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of something... Oh, Sweet Scent, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, really? Really? Okay, so these things apparently no sleep powder. That's fairly annoying. Oh, we're going to switch out, because I'm not ready to deal with this. Am I supposed to be here today? Alright, so let's switch into... Let's go Bill, because why not? I don't see you going into Bill, god! Ooh, Leech Seed, good thing we switched out. That would have sucked. So anyway, uh, today's video, this would be Monday's video, and Saturday, I finished my Mystery Dungeon series. So yeah, I don't often finish series on this channel, so it was quite nice to do that. Uh, I don't understand that maybe that game's not for everyone, but if you're just a general Pokemon fan, uh, I would be very grateful if you check that out. It's like 33 parts I think it ended up being. I think that's right, yeah. So yeah. And if you like Mystery Dungeon then go ahead and check it out. It's known for some terrible voice acting on my part. <laughs> plug, plug, plug. But then again, I would do that because my channel. Uh, and in its place... Um, now I've freed up a slot because I did uh, Mystery Dungeon videos twice a week. I did them on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Uh, so now that slot is free. It's, uh oh. It's free for a new game. I think it's going to be another Pokemon game. Uh, and you'll find out. I'm not going to put it up this week, I don't think. I'm gonna. Oh. I died! I'm gonna do it maybe for next week. So yeah, look out for that if you're interested in any of my other series on my channel. So we just go boys slam this valve because it's annoying as hell. And it's gone. 
Good job, Genj. You might have to. Oh, and you still. An Arbok? That's not a grass type! We're going to Earthquake this mofo. These gym trainers are proving quite tough, actually. But then again, as I say, I'm surprisingly like susceptible to grass type attacks. Uh, so, Earthquake, I guess. Why is this Arbok in anticipation of? Like, usually gym trainers or leaders or whatever, they have like other types to sort of take advantage of the things that are super effective against their other type. But why is poison good against? It's only against grass, and so why do you use grass types against the grass type? I don't know! I think I'm looking way too much into it. I think they just decided to give them an Arbok for no reason. Uh, but I know I just said using grass types against grass is stupid, but I'm going to lead with Gange. Hypocrite! Why are you looking at these flowers or at me? No, 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 I was looking at Erica actually. Make a fab what you will. Beauty Julia! Sound of Paris. At level 52, because why not? Uh, body slam, please. I don't think this will kill it. Maybe two hits. Oh no! I think I've said this before, but Paris's eyes look really strange. It's like button eyes. I think I said this before as well, that it reminds me of the film of Coraline. I think that's the name of it. I watched it a few years ago. But that is a creepy, creepy film. <laughs> oh dear. It is gone now, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Instead, we have to do is execute. I don't know why you have all these unevolved Pokemon, but I'm not going to complain. You're just going to get a Shadow Ball to your multiple faces. Execute's another Pokemon that makes no sense. Where's the brain of Execute? Or does it, that have multiple brains? But allegedly that like works through like some sort of weird telepathy anyway. So I don't know. I don't know if it even has a brain. Again, I think I'm looking way too much into this. I think it's just to stick to battling and not questioning the biology of Pokemon. Because I would... Oh, uh, really? Because I would just get annoyed. Like, this spore is annoying. So we're gonna switch out into... Let's go with Gange, why not? You're gonna heal, aren't you? I don't think I've had the opponent heal all day, but this is where it changes. Gosh darn it. So I'm just gonna body slam you. And hopefully this thing doesn't have like a really ridiculous bug attack. Oh, no, it has Giga Drain, no, I want it! I want it! Wow, this is probably a poor choice. I should probably have gone with Blizzard from... Uh, fluffles, but too late now. Oh, come on! Really? Aha! Well, he's gonna put me to sleep anyway. There's no way to avoid that. It was gonna happen. It's the only, like, in action member we have now is Fluffles. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna have to go back and heal. Oh no! Uh, this thing might be faster, but hopefully we can get off. Yeah! Now, I don't know if that means I'm faster or if it was quick core. It's probably quick core. I'm really bad at like guessing the stats of everything, but yay, Fluffles, go Fluffles. Nice you do. Man, everything gained XP there, what was that about? How annoying! Yeah, I know you are, but what am I? So, I'm going to go back and do the customary pre-gym leader heal, so I'll be back in a second. Alright, so here we go. Gym leader, Erica. Now, I believe I have Piney up front. I'm going to get some spikes off, because why not? Here we go! Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? Well, actually, when I went out, it had gone from snowing to raining, so not really. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. Oh, all the way from Johto, you say? I didn't say anything. Why? How do people know this? <laughs> How nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. But this is the point of gyms. Why is everyone so adverse? Like, I think Sabrina said that I'm not used to battling. You're a gym leader. What else do you do? I don't know, but anyway, here we go, gym leader Erica, and I already like her because she is a grass type trainer, and that is, of course, favorite type. So here we go. Hopefully, we can get a few spikes off. Uh, well, at least it wasn't sleep, I guess. But that's going to hinder any sort of plans I have for rollout. Uh, so I think three layers is good. We'll go the whole hall. Giga Drain will not do anything, hopefully. Unless it crits or something. Yep, that was that's fine. I can deal with that. So you're getting spiked. If that's the way to say it. And we're gonna heal with leftovers. 
And we need one more spikes. And then I'm probably going to try cursing up a bit. Uh, but then I'm going to... Do I roll out sweep? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see. We'll see if Piney can handle this. It's a test of your metal, Spike. There, Piney. And that's in the literal sense because you are a steel type, of course. So, let's start cursing. You bastard. So, here comes the tedious setup phase. <laughs> and this might not even work. I haven't been too paralyzed to move yet, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen soon. I'm already slower than you fool. I really should put Quick Claw back on Piney. Uh, because, like, then Headbutt can get, like, flinch hacks and stuff. That's the whole point of Headbutt. Maybe Piney needs a better attacking move, but uh, as, as I say, it's not supposed to be an attacking Pokemon, so I don't know what I could do there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I knew it. Considering you weren't paralyzed up until that point, that's actually fairly good odds. Uh, so, if you could please curse up a few more times, that'd be great. But it's going to paralyze me again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not even sure how, like, curse is supposed to operate, like, in the sense that if you were in the Pokemon world and saw curse, what would you be looking at? I'm not sure. <laughs> The animation is just moving back and forth a bit, and glowing. <laughs> I don't know what that means. How is that cursing? I don't know. Very strange. Again, there I go questioning the logistics of his game. Oh. But like, there's just so much that some people take for granted, I have to do it. It's an inquisitive nature, goddammit. So I believe that was four curses, so two more. And if I remember correctly, she has a jump bluff as well, and that's super effective rollout is anyway, which I am going to go for the rollout, I think. Oh right, we're getting really good luck with the paralysis, if we had only done it once since we got paralysed. So one more please, and then we can get this party started! I don't know why it keeps trying a stun spore. Oh no, okay, well there's a second time. Why are you trying stun spore? Okay, there we go. Uh, although, it is going to try for stun spore once I unparalyze you, so I sense there's no point in actually doing it. But I'll try. And it goes for a poison powder for some reason. <laughs> this thing's moveset is dreadful. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Thought that might happen. Okay, so we're just going to have to go for a rollout, or we're just going to headbutt it a few times. Yeah, yeah. Right, even, uh, I'm still thinking this won't do much. Wow, I didn't think it'd do that little. Hopefully we can get this going to a good extent. This is with plus six attack. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what's going on there, but this will defeat it if I'm not too paralyzed to move. Ow! Oh! I should just shut up when, I, when that happens. Wow, this thing cannot actually do physical damage, I don't think. Oh, no way, it must have done at some point. So, wait, it knows Acid Poison Powder, Stun Spore. Oh, Giga... Dr no, did it know Giga Drain? I swear, I've just started facing this thing, and I can't remember what it has used. Very strange. It has a Grass Attack. But there you go. Roll out. How can I remember? I've just started facing this. But all it's using is, like, Stun Spore. So, I'm not going to complain. Alright, two more of these will do. Acid. Real acid. <laughs> there we go. Nicely done. I'm still confident you can sweep this entire gym, by the way. And that's what we're doing here. Tangler? Okay. Why'd she have a Tangler? Oh, like, a team isn't the same as it was in the original. So I guess maybe... Oh, also hopefully this thing doesn't have stun spore. That's weird. She has her red, blue, yellow team. Fire, red, leaf, green, whatever you want to call it. Very strange. Means there's no jump off. Alright, well, that's not gonna matter at all. Because I'm just gonna keep rollout in. Constrict, oh god, one of the worst moves in the entire game. Well, this probably won't do much either. Oh man, this is gonna be full. This battle's full of healing animations. <laughs> it's the battle of healers. We're the clerics, if you will, of this particular team. Why? Why does it have rubbish attacks? I think I've like 
found their weak point, Erika's, anyway. They have no attacks that can hit my Piney. Tangle is a very strange Pokemon. Why does it have shoes? Where did it acquire them? They're like naturally like they they have shoes upon birth. That's very bizarre. But then again, there's several other things that can apply to. For example, I suppose. Well, it's just like how Farfetch has a leak, for example, and how Machoke. No, it's not from an egg, but how it just acquires a bell all of a sudden. All these random items of clothing that Pokemon just seem to obtain. Yeah, well, that is definitely going to take it down. So it's just one more thing to go. You're level 54, I think. And I think Gans is 55, but you're almost there. And a Valplume. So hopefully Rollout can actually take it down in one, but I'm not that optimistic. Actually, what am I talking about? Yeah, you can do it, Piney! Go! And another Giga Drain. That is something I want. And if I take down his Vile Plume, hopefully, unless they've changed it, it's something I get. Please defeat it. Come on. Yeah. Good job, Piney. See? You can still do the business when you want. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I shall give you Rainbow Badge. <laughs> I give you a Rainbow Badge. A red. So that's our 11th badge. Not bad. Badge case is getting kind of full now. That was a delightful match. I feel inspired. Please, wish you'd have this tier. It is Giga Drain. Oh, yeah. Use it if it pleases me. It does definitely please me. So, before we end the episode, let's teach this thing. Because I've been waiting for it for ages. Giga Drain. Uh, it's not even that strong. <laughs> Piney can learn Giga Drain. What the heck? You know what? Your attack. That might not even be worth teaching to you after all this time. Hang on, I'm going to have to. No, I didn't mean to say that. I'm going to check. I'm going to check your stats. Because your attack might be high enough so that you actually still need Razor Leaf. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to keep Razor Leaf on you. So Giga Drain could go on someone else. So all this, like, I've been like, oh, I'll teach you Giga Drain for like, the past few episodes, and it turns out that I don't even really need it. I could put it on Piney. <gasps> Why would I do that? Your special attack is terrible. So, okay, uh, I guess I'll end the episode right here. Let's see what the weather's like outside. Ah, it's raining, of course. Typical, so... Uh, next up, we're going to travel west more so to Cycling Road. And we'll head down to a few shot cities. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Toodles.